This video is going to walk through a process for creating polygons in Google Earth Pro and then exporting those files to be opened up in ArcGIS and save them as shape files. We have two parts here that we're going to outline using the polygon tool here in Google Earth Pro. But before we do that, what we'll need to do is create a folder for these new polygons to go. So we'll right click on our temporary folder and say add folder and we'll just name this. We can also add a description if we know that we're going to have multiple folders in here, but for the purposes of this, we're just going to go ahead and click OK. We'll then grab our polygon tool. If we hover over, it says add polygon. Now, if you wanted to do point data, you would use add place mark. And if you wanted to do line data, you could add path. But for our exercise, we're going to add polygons. We'll create the polygon. We'll name it after whatever we are about to outline. And we'll begin to outline this park. Now this park is colored in completely solid, but we can change this from a fill and an outline to just an outline or just a fill. Usually when I'm creating these, I like just the outline so that we can follow the path all the way around. But when I'm ready to export, I want to flip it back to filled. We'll do a second polygon for a second park just next door. Now, once we've created these, we want to export this entire folder as what's called a KMZ file. So we're going to right click on this. We'll say save places as. I'm going to save it as a KMZ file. I'm going to save this in our GIS data folder under the state and under the county. Now, once that file is exported, we're going to go over to ArcMap. We've got a new document. We're just going to start with a blank map. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to bring in the state boundaries. And we're going to zoom into our county over here. And we know that our parks are going to come in in Octoba Hall County right here. And to do that, we're going to go to our Arc Toolbox. And you can click on this icon right here if it's not already showing. Also want to go to Customize and Extensions to make sure all that our extensions are turned on. And we're going to go to our Conversion Tools from KML to Layer. And this will work for KML or KMZ files. So we'll navigate to where our file is saved and this is our export from Google Earth. We even have the Google Earth icon here. And we're going to say Open. For the output location, and this is just a layer file that it's going to create, we're going to change that also to that same location, Mississippi, Octave Hall, and we'll save it. Go back one folder, and we'll click on this folder just to say add, and we'll save that file that it's creating into the layer file into this folder right here. And we're going to say OK. After it's run, it's going to uh, add this new layer right here, and we can click on the symbol to change it to whatever colors, uh, both the fill and the outline that we choose, and we can zoom in right here. What we'll do is we'll take the county, we'll make it hollow, we're going to add a base map just to confirm that it is in the correct location. So we'll click on imagery and add that base map. We can see from this that it does line up with where we drew it in Google Earth Pro. Now, it's still a layer file and it's referencing the KML file. So what we want to do uh, for the last step is we want to right click on the layer. In this case, it's going to be all the polygons. We'll go to data and export data. Now, this is where we want to save that as a shape file. We're going to go back to our folders, back to our county, might even create a new folder. Parks. We'll click inside here and we'll change it to the name of the file that we want. And if it's set as a feature class, we can do that inside a geo database, but for this exercise, we're just going to save it as a shape file and we're going to say save right here. Leave all this as the defaults and we'll say OK. We'll add us, ask us if we want to add this to the map. We're going to say yes. And you'll see that it's a separate layer that's right on top. And we can adjust accordingly from there, changing the color, changing the properties right here, and changing the display to a different transparency.
You also see that the names that you gave the parks will show up in a column uh, under name for uh, the names of those parks if you name them correctly in Google Earth Pro. Obviously you can go in and add additional fields here for different data. If we want to label those we can right click, go to properties, go to labels, we'll label it as name, we'll even change the color to white so it shows up a little better, label feature, and change one more setting, we'll say OK. And there we go. And so that is the process for creating a polygon in Google Earth Pro that you want to translate into a shapefile in GIS.